Is many years ago, Paul Watzlawick made a distinction between descriptive language and injunctive language. Mm -hmm. Descriptive language is this is that, and using lots and lots of words to describe something. Injunctive language is try this out, find this, uh, do this, and see what happens. Mm -hmm. uh, commands, the yeah. gentle commands, but they're saying, okay, now make this picture, or now slow down the voice, or whatever it is. So mm -hmm. it's doing something. And it's only through doing something that change happens. Giorgio Nardoni has a book, I think it's called uh, Changing Through Doing, or something yeah. like that. Mm -hmm. The emphasis on doing things to make a difference. Yeah. You don't do anything, nothing happens. Nothing really yeah. changes. You can talk about it until you're blue in the face, but nothing really makes a difference. But doing something, trying something out, you find out if it works. Maybe it works, maybe it doesn't work. Uh -huh. and, you, and you're giving people this ongoing experience of creating alternatives to things that they're quite used to, creating experiences for themselves by these very slight shifts in how they use their attention and what they focus on. And actually having somebody try something out and do something is a real way of making choice and empowerment. Sometimes yeah. people say, will say, well, you have a choice, but if you don't offer them a choice, they don't really know what that means. But if you say, try seeing it this way, try changing your perspective, try looking at it this way, try making the, the picture smaller, or try making the voice faster or slower and so on, that's an operational way of actually making some, giving someone a choice. They don't have to do it, but they have the choice now. 